MZRA Nation, hey, it's Jamie. Today, I'm talking about one of the most critical things to winter weather flying, which is the winter pre-flight. Now, this isn't just your summer pre-flight. Today, I'm gonna walk you through the difference between a summer and a winter pre-flight, the things that I want you to look out for, and the steps you need to take to have a good, safe flight. Now, dress appropriately, grab your jackets, and let's jump in. Let's go ahead and start off at the front of the plane with the engine, one of the most important factors of a winter pre-flight. Now, if you can, keep it in a nice warm hangar to avoid having the stressors of the cold temperature with starting the engine. If you actually look into your POH or your AFM, you'll see that there are cold weather operations that are detailed based on your manufacturer of how to run through a cold engine start. On top of the engine, one of the other things that I want you to look into is the pedostatic system. So obviously you want to make sure that your ports are not frozen over and that if you can cover your pedo tube to make sure that it is going to be nice and clear of frost or contamination whenever you go fly. It is so important to be able to have your instruments give you reliable information whenever you go fly. Another thing I wanna draw your attention to is the control surfaces. You need to have a complete freedom of movement. There should be no binding, so ensure that all the snow and ice is cleared off of them, even ensuring that the hinges are all cleared off of ice and you have full, to full freedom of movement, nothing limiting their movement. The next thing I want to draw your attention to is the landing gear and brake system. And especially if you're going to fly into an airport with snow and ice accumulation already on the ground, especially if it's really slushy around. That slush can get kicked up into your landing gear system and we need to ensure that it is all cleared off before the next time we go fly. And although wheel pants are pretty, it, it makes it very difficult to be able to ensure that it's all cleared off the system. So you may have to roll it into a hanger, a heated hanger, and ensure that it is nice and melted off and dry before the next time you go fly. I want you to consider all of these additional pre-flight steps as a crucial part of your winter pre-flight. Because remember, the additional time spent on the ground keeps your flight safe, comfortable, and stress-free. Thanks for joining on this winter series. 